Well, hi everyone. I'm John Rethlin, and this is my review of AEW Dark from Denver. Excalibur and Taz introduce us and talk about the matches, and we start off with a tag team match. Kip Sabian and Peter Avalon with Penelope Ford and Leva Bates at ringside as they take on the two talented members of Jurassic Express, and Marco Stunt is there at their side. That's Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, for those who don't know. I really like them as a team, and Marco, if they're insistent on keeping him on the roster, just, just keep him outside and let Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy do the matches, because they were a really good team. Um, typical stuff, uh, though Jungle Boy did hit some nice dives off the ropes. He really is talented and really is coming into his own. And Luchasaurus is a great big man. The heels take over. They, you know, they beat down Jungle Boy for a while. Both uh, Jurassic Express members are very, very over. At one point, the women start shoving each other for some reason. Marco Stunt gets involved. He gets shoved. That's the best use for him. And then Luchasaurus gets in, hits a huge choke slam for two. And then soon after, an assisted cutter and Jungle Boy gets the pin on Peter Avalon 1, 2, 3. So there you go. There's your match right there. Not a bad match. And again, if you got these two guys from uh, Jurassic Express doing, you know, doing these matches, it's going to be very entertaining stuff. And then we get Shivani and Dasha plugging merch. Um, it's like the Nightmare Family. It's the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh T-shirt where 20% of the proceeds go to Planned Pethood, I believe. Um, you'd have to watch the episode to get the full link, but that's that, that's really, really good stuff. It's really, really nice. And then we go right to another match. Uh, Severino uh, Cor Coronate, Coronate, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, versus Jimmy Havoc. And this was Jimmy Havoc really just taking over on this guy. Though he did get in, you know, that uh, Zervino did get in some shots, actually hitting some good stuff, not doing too, not doing too bad. He did a nice German suplex into the turnbuckles. That was some really good stuff. But in the end, they just, you know, it, it, this was all about Jimmy Havoc getting over, and Jimmy Havoc got over with the Acid Rainmaker, a bunch of moves, and then the Acid Rainmaker to take out this guy. Oh, and commentary kept plugging the Luther feud. Why? Oh, because here comes the Japanese deathmatch wrestling legend Luther. Okay, cool. I don't really care about this guy, but he attacks Jimmy Havoc and points to his third eye. No, the eye on his forehead, by the way. Yeah, this is this is what we're dealing with. We're we're going with Jimmy Havoc, who actually is pretty good in the ring, despite the deathmatch stuff that I never really cared for, and a guy that some people have heard of, but the vast majority of people haven't. And I really have no interest in the Luther character. But you know what? Hey, if they're sold on this feud, and if they want to do this feud, great, good for them. So, um, we, I don't know why Luther had, uh, you know, like the, you ever seen the Wizard of Oz? Remember the, you know, the striped socks that the witch had? I don't know why he stole her socks. I really don't know. We then go, uh, with a women's match. Hikaru Shida taking on Abaddon. That reminds me of if you mix the Grudge Ghost and Rosemary. And I'm not saying that, you know, because Abaddon and Rosemary have two very distinct characters, but there are similarities. But my God. Abaddon has a cool goddamn look, a really cool goddamn look. Very grudge ghost, very horror, zombie related. I mean, just really a whole bunch of stuff. And very, very interesting. Apparently, she her weight is uh, 1,000 lost souls, whatever what, whatever that would weigh. I have no goddamn idea. But she's got this horror movie uh, motif down pat. She really has a cool look here. She did, did act scared of her for a while. There were some antics like, you know, Abaddon sitting up and doing some spoopy stuff and everything, and even at one point trying to bite Cheetah. That angered Cheetah. She got more focused, started hitting some moves, and even though Abaddon tried, she could no longer uh, face Cheetah, and then fell to a knee strike, and uh, Cheetah got the win. So I will say Abaddon did impress me here and had, you know, has the cool look, has the stuff down to really be a good character, and they may want to bring her back for some more stuff because. She had a good she had a good showing here, and I like what she I like what she can do. I like what she brought to the table. You need more characters, and she provides a unique character. Uh, Dasha interviews uh, Jimmy Havoc, and then Luther attacks him. Cool, we're still going with this feud. I was hoping it was just a horrible nightmare. And then um, Cole Cabana is talking with the librarians, and he doesn't want to read a book because he's listening to a podcast. And then Leva Bates says, "Oh, I love your podcast." And then we get Sunday Kiss and Brandon Cutler versus Private Party. I'm going to be very quick here. One, they did gymnastic stuffs in the beginning. I like Sunny Kiss. I think Sunny has a good look and hopefully can be featured a little more on Dynamite, not just on Dark. <clears throat> um, 
He did hit a nice moonsault at one point. Cutler going absolutely insane earlier in the match and later in the match. Uh, hit the TPK, the total party killer, I believe, and he hit two of them. Sonny could not get the win. And in the end, uh, Private Party hit the gin and juice. One, two, three, and there we go. And then we get a big old schmoz at the end because we get Death Triangle, which was, um, I almost said Neville, Puck, and, uh, you know, the Lucha Bros attacking everybody. And then we get Joey Janela coming down for some reason, and then the best friends in Orange Cassidy. We get a whole bunch of people coming down. It's a big old schmoz. At least are tying the stories together. The show overall gets a C. It gets a C. I like the women's match. I like some of the stuff they did, but overall it's pretty average. Not bad. Nothing offended me on this show, but C. Anyway, if I forget to put a poll up there, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Ritland. I'll see you soon.